there's danger over there by the bench. All I know is his room is. Who knows? There's danger by the bench. Okay, let's go to the bench. Whoa, I was taking a walk by the beach and suddenly all these mechs appeared. Barely got here alive. Need the entrance. T he even tails is lagging. He's a computer control character. Now she's not that. She's she's pretty good character model. She's also pretty damn pretty kind of attractive with glasses. Um, so we've got one thing right: an attractive NPC. That's good. Okay, so right now we can't do anything around here. There's nothing we can do. There's rings are just there. We've got to. Oh, let it go. This is a silver medal. They are scattered all over Solian. It may be hard to collect them all. And you see that I'm pretty sure that's Eggman's voice put on a different accent, which equally scares me. Now, what does she want? Oh, okay. Hello. Hey. What do you want? I've never seen you before. You're a tourist. Welcome, Selenia. People to talk to. Oh, he explains the whole. Icons mean cool stuff. Have fun with that. So yeah, right now I'm playing this blind. This is as far as I got. Um, uh, can I just smash that barrel? Thank you. Okay, so this guy. My name is Alberto Robert and I've been making shoes in a town for a very long time. I'm making the ultimate shoes now. These shoes are the power of Selenia's mysterious stones to change. I'm calling them custom shoes. There's no one that can test the full potential of these shoes. Is there anyone who can who can test the design of these shoes? Really? You'll be able to do that? Really? No, no. No. I'm not going to. Loading! So, apparently saying yes triggers automatic loading of the universe. Hmm. In certain, certain circumstances, I can kind of agree with that. This is the time I'm going to break, take a break and just relax. <laughs> What? What on earth? I've seen pointless loading screen times, but that, that has got to take the biscuit. And now, I'm, this, what, what do these shoes even do? Make the game sweat lags a little less. But that works. Right, okay, so what exactly am I trying to do? Because now the camera refuses to turn. Oh, right, okay, one of these. Uh, what the? Bloody hell! That's atrocious. The, the movement on the in the air is like you just careering left and right, like someone hit you with a shoot one side to the left. And that's basically your that's basically your movement. It's just some man sat there with either a big bellow to push air at you, or just smacking you <laughs> the other side of the face with a shoe. So, okay. So, congratulations. We've played this game for a couple of seconds and we still haven't been able to run anywhere yet. And we got a rank A for it. Now, hopefully, I think you've garnered enough rings in here to get access to the first area. But this, the loading screen is already... Head for the sea! I don't really want to head for the sea. We've got to talk to the guy, I'm pretty sure, to get the ring dash. I don't think we've yet got it. But we shall see. See also how long I can stand this game before I start, decide to quit. Hey. Okay. Why can I buy? Why do I want to buy another light dash? Why would I want to buy more than one? Ooh. See, so obviously, if this is if this is not a problem you've seen before in Sonic 06. Let me know, because I'm going to take it back. But I'll put it in a game, the problem is I don't know where the nearest games are. Okay. Right, now how do I light dash? When you get close to a trail of rings, press the square button to do a light dash. Tails! Tails, my boy! You okay? You okay, buddy? Are you okay? Oh, Tails died! <laughs> oh, he's back. Damn it. Oh well, um, well that was, I was going to say interesting, but that's a complete lie. Oh, Wave Ocean, pursue the egg carrier. Good, because I was wondering when the obligatory Dr. Eggman pursuit carrier thingamajig would appear. The egg carrier. I mean, I appreciate he's called it that in many other games, but they're really trying to garner to an old audience now, aren't they? 
I'm glad you're telling me how to homing attack, because I've missed out on homing attack since... Sonic Adventure. I'm pretty sure Sonic Adventure was the first one to introduce the homing attack. What? 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 Like that was that was that was just random. That that wasn't actually me getting thrown around, was it? The thing is, though, this doesn't even feel fast. This feels very similar to um, Sonic Adventures in the terms of how it looks like you're going fast. But the thing is, everything falls apart in the most obnoxiously slow way. It's a speed game. It's friggin' Sonic. Okay. Uh, I'll get that medal. Apparently, I can't get that medal, even if I. Um. Okay. Well, we'll accept that for now. Despite the fact I lost my medal. I have no idea where I'm going, but it must be somewhere good. Probably away from this game would be a good idea. Now, these are. That's light. They're light pads, aren't they? I really don't like the idea of light pads. Um. Can I. Thank you. And I missed something that was there as well. Okay. Um. I can see this place has multiple levels, but every time I hit something, the camera decides if you're going to jerk and then have a motion blur to make me feel ill. Uh, what? What? Did something just do a switch around? Uh, well, whatever. Um, Sonic, you could jump above that. Well, never mind. Four lives. This can't go much worse. Now I've said it, I will be dead in five seconds. I should just go around here and get the other medal then, shall we? I don't quite understand what these medals have got to do, but... um. Yay! I'm just gonna die yes. now. See, I don't usually suck on Sonic games. Usually I'm quite good at them. Quite, you know, good at the speed, but this one is... It, this just... You, you can't... You have to play it to believe that this even could possibly exist. Oh, right. Oh, wow. So one hit reduces... You know what? How do I get off this damned island now? Alright, there. That's kind of scary. I really don't like that. But basically, when you hit them, you become immobile for a time. And when you when you become immobile for a time, you can't move left or right. You have to wait until the game allows you to then use the um, user X attack again. Uh, can I? How do I get onto? All oh, right, I can just do that. Well, that's cool. Wish I'd remembered that earlier. Oh well. Checkpoint. I don't understand how that worked. Gravity, defying it, cool, cool, I'm fine with that. Thing is, he moves everywhere, slowly, and then suddenly here they put motion blurring on to make you feel like you're running 80 times faster than you are. Whoa, this is like Sonic Adventure DX with all the whales, but only less cool. In fact, this is a direct rip-off of Sonic Adventure. See, I'm, I'm not used to calling it Sonic Adventure. Um, excuse me. What just happened? In all seriousness, what just happened there? Okay, well we, we can we can deal with this. Just gotta just, just gotta keep moving. Um Okay. Well that worked out, I guess. Um Oh, you're meant to how is anyone meant to know that? And what on earth? Oh yeah, we're trying to stop the giant whales that like dolphins. What? Oh, why am I having to play as other characters in this? Okay, right, so I can fly. That's good. Means I've got the worst floaty controls ever. He throws rings at people. He generates his own rings that he then can't pick up to throw at people. Really, this is... this is... A level of diabolical I had yet not thought existed. Like you press a button and like left or right when you're flying, and he seemingly flies through the air at random. Like if you've seen anyone play this game somewhat skillfully, they should be crowned as a some form of master. This is diabolical. Um, where am I supposed to go from here? Yeah, that's, I'm a little bit confused about where I'm supposed to go actually. Now, is that a no? That's not a ring, is it? It's not a. Well, maybe I'm supposed to go around here. Oh, I'm supposed to fly over there, am I? Okay, well, I'll do that, I guess. 
it's just a little bit unlinear in terms of where you're supposed to go. And then Tails is quite slow. Oh, silence, you muffin of muffinness. You know what? Apparently I can't get up there. Never mind. Have fun in death. Um, where are we supposed to be going now? Is it, do we run out of time on this? Because I sorely hope not, because I will run out of time. Okay. Oh my gosh, that... That was pretty damn laggy. Or you could learn how to swim, Sonic. You know, either... And it could... It could easily swim out underneath there. Actually, I guess it has got that really large tail. Maybe it stopped, you know, derping around like a friggin' Egypt. What was that? Like, so far, nothing about this game seems even coherent. It is, it is as bad as people say. In fact, it's worse. Save yourselves. Oh my god. This is one of these super speed segments, which is basically what happens when you use the boost in every other game. But if you get hit by something, bang, you're dead. So you've got no quick step, you've got nothing to actually help you over here. Oh no, I'm dead. Darn, we're not gonna make it. Let's speed up. Sorry, but I just have to ask, who thought this was a good design choice? You can't turn in the air, as I tell you as well. Well, now you know, because as I hit the water, apparently I just disintegrate. Can't even jump. I swear, I'm not. I if I'm gonna have to play the entire level, I will. I will end this. You no, you you honestly have to be joking. You've put me right back at the beginning of the game. This isn't a NES game. Does that mean I actually physically have to save? There's no autosave feature in this game. There's no autosave feature in a game that came out in 2006 on the next gen console. No! No, that's not it. <coughs> what? <laughs> it never ends. Yes, overwrite this data. You should have done that anyway. What's Eggman up to? I need to gather some information. Oh my goodness. Well, we know what to do now, so it will take us in total about three minutes to get back there. Two minutes, 59 seconds of that is going to be the loading screens. because we're skipping all the cutscenes. This is just... This is just... When you go to a game design course, they need to make you play this game and then say just, just anything but that. Like, I am I honestly th was going to give this game a chance, thinking it was going to be a good game. Well, not going to be a good game, but not as bad as everyone said, because, you know, how much can a company like Sega, Sonic Team, mess up? But, no. This... This entire experience is just diabolical. I mean, they haven't even got the jumping right without the lagging in the game. Case in point. It's just... And then this. Then this, which I can't understand. Two, two uh, you know, 20 second loading screen. For nothing. For literally a line of dialogue. Why? Is it to load in higher quality text texture textures so you can zoom in? If so, don't do it. You were doing it fine beforehand. He doesn't look any better textured. In fact, he looks worse. The railings aren't even alienized. A alien alienized. That's always the word I said. So alienized. Alien, whatever. Oh my goodness. So.